What if there are a few hidden settings in your Windows registries that could boost your FPS, fix stutters, and make your games run way smoother? In this video, I'll show you 5 simple Windows registry tweaks that can totally change your gaming performance. Let's dive into it! Frustrated with the lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Before we dive into the manual tweaks, here's a time-saving tip. If you want to skip the hassle, you can download the pre-configured registry tweaks pack directly from my official website. It's completely safe. Feel free to scan it with any antivirus tool or online scanner. Once downloaded, open the folder, head into the registry section, and double-click each file to apply the optimizations automatically. The real benefit of this pack is flexibility. If you ever want to undo a tweak, I've included a revert folder with all the default values. Just double-click those in the same way to roll things back. There's also a text file inside with all the registry paths for manual navigation. Perfect if you want to tweak things yourself, or verify everything line by line. So go ahead, grab the pack, and simplify the whole process. Now, if you're someone who prefers to apply things manually, let's do it the advanced way. First, hit the Windows search bar, type Registry Editor, right-click on it, and choose Run as Administrator. This step is crucial. Without elevated access, some tweaks won't apply properly. Start by copying the first registry path from the video description and pasting it directly into the address bar at the top of the registry editor. Press enter and you'll be taken straight to the correct location. Now, in the right hand panel, look for a value named Win32 Priority Separation. Double click on it and you'll see a small window pop up. Here, change the value data to 26 and make sure the base is set to hexadecimal, then click OK to save the changes. So what does this do? This tweak modifies how Windows distributes processor time between background services and the apps you're actively using. By setting the value to 26, you're instructing Windows to prioritize foreground applications like your game, over everything else running in the background. This means your system will dedicate more CPU resources to the game window, helping reduce input lag, improve responsiveness, and create a smoother overall gaming experience. It's especially useful if you're multitasking while gaming, say you've got Discord running, music playing in the background, or even a web browser open. Normally, all these apps would compete for CPU time. But with this tweak applied, your game stays in the spotlight and gets the bulk of processing power, minimizing interruptions and giving you that performance edge. Next, take the second registry path listed in the video description and paste it into the top address bar of the registry editor. Press enter to jump directly to the correct location. Once you're there, look at the right panel. If you don't see an entry named Max Pre-Rendered Frames, don't worry, we'll create it manually. Right-click on any empty space in the right panel, hover over New, and select DWORD 32-bit value. Name this new entry exactly as shown, Max Pre-Rendered Frames. After that, double-click on it and set the value data to 1, making sure the base is set to decimal, then hit OK to apply the tweak. So what does this setting actually do? Essentially, it controls how many frames your system pre-renders before displaying them. By default, Windows or your graphics driver might render multiple frames ahead to maintain stability, but that added buffer introduces input delay. For competitive gamers, this delay can be the difference between a hit and a miss. Setting this value to 1 minimizes that buffer, allowing your system to render and display frames almost in real time. 
This tweak is especially beneficial in fast-paced, reaction-based titles like Counter-Strike 2, Fortnite, or Valorant, where every fraction of a second matters. With this setting enabled, your mouse movements and keystrokes register more quickly on screen, giving you tighter control and faster response, an absolute must if you're aiming for peak competitive performance. Now let's optimize how your CPU handles background tasks. Copy the third registry path from the description, paste it into the top bar, and press enter. Look for system responsiveness, double click it, switch the base to decimal, and change the value to 10. By default, Windows holds back 20% of your CPU for background services like updates, indexing, or telemetry. For a gaming rig, that's wasted horsepower. Changing this value reduces the reservation to just 10%, freeing up more processing power for the foreground task, your game. The result is smoother performance, particularly during intense scenes or in CPU-heavy titles like GTA V, Warzone, or open-world RPGs. If you're running a budget or mid-tier processor, this tweak alone can make a huge difference in consistency and responsiveness. Core Parking is a power-saving feature where Windows disables unused CPU cores to conserve energy. Great for laptops, not so great for gaming. To disable it, copy the next registry path from the description, paste it in the editor, and press enter. On the right hand side, find the attributes entry and change its value from 1 to 0. Doing this reveals the hidden processor performance core parking option in your power plant settings, which you can later disable entirely. But even at the registry level, unparking your cores ensures every thread of your processor stays ready for action. This massively benefits games that use multi-threading or have complex physics and AI. Whether you're using a quad-core CPU or a 16-thread beast, this tweak ensures all your cores are working together to keep the frame rates high and starters low. For our final and most advanced tweak, we're diving deep into Windows Multimedia Scheduling System, something that directly influences how the operating system allocates resources to different types of tasks. Begin by copying the last registry path from the video description and pasting it into the registry editor's address bar. Press enter and you'll land in a section specifically designed for task priority management. Here, you'll need to check and modify six specific values. If any of them are missing, right click in the right panel, choose new, string value or dword 32-bit value based on the type listed and create it manually. Once they exist, modify them as follows. Affinity set to F hexadecimal. Background only set to false. GPU priority set to E hexadecimal. Priority set to 6. Scheduling category set to high. SFIO priority set to high. Each of these changes shifts priority toward your game. For example, GPU priority tells Windows to favor your game over other GPU using apps like browsers or streaming software. The scheduling category and SFIO values further boost how the system handles your game's I.O. operations and processing threads. Altogether, this tweak reduces background interference, improves frame pacing and can even lower frame time spikes in demanding titles. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game it will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. 
Now guys, you're turning your Windows PC into a machine that no longer divides its focus. If this helped you out, hit that subscribe button for more high performance gaming tweaks. Your PC will thank you. Peace out.